Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna talk about eating just three tablespoons of this superfood can significantly help improve your bone density over the long run. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. One of the first things I do when I see a client in the clinic that has either osteopenia or osteoporosis is first of all, give them hope and listen to them. And then I try to educate them the best I can on the different aspects that go into taking care of osteopenia and osteoporosis and building back bone density. What exercises you should do, what exercises you shouldn't do, how much protein you should get. How does walking fit into this? Does walking actually increase bone density? What about other micronutrients? Am I getting enough of everything else? I try to answer all those questions in videos that I've already made before and I'm gonna continue to add additional videos on osteoporosis because I feel like this is an underserved population. Yes, medications are important and in some people medications are critical. However, there's just so much more that goes into it whether or not you take or don't take the medication in order to build strong bones and stay healthy. I have multiple videos currently right now on the channel that address all of these questions. I'll put a playlist down below in the comments Feel free to check that out when you have a moment. If you have any questions, please let me know. The thing to remember is whenever we talk about a supplement or food that reduces the risk of osteoporosis, oftentimes it works at the level of reducing inflammation. So that's one thing to keep in mind, which is why you know I have a video right up here that talks about the role of sugar and inflammation and how we should really try to reduce as much pro-inflammatory foods as we can and double down on the anti-inflammatory foods. So what is this superfood that we're supposed to eat three tablespoons of? Olive oil, but not just regular olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I was reading a study that said 50 milliliters, which is about three tablespoons a day of extra virgin olive oil seems to help be protective for bones through its anti-inflammatory processes. If you're already getting enough olive oil in your diet, that's great. If not, talk to your doctor first, but you might wanna think about adding a little bit more olive oil into your diet. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel if you haven't, and feel free to share this video with any of your friends or family that may have osteopenia or osteoporosis. All right, take care you guys, we'll see you next time.